Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So in this video, we'll talk about the last method in the solutions of first order and higher degree. That is the Claret's equation. So before this, in my previous videos, I've told you about solvable by P method, solvable by Y method and solvable by X method. So this is the last method for the first order and higher degree solutions. Let us try to understand what is this method. So in this method, the given differential equation must be in the form of y is equal to px plus f of p. So in this case, so this form is called the Claret's equation. So here, this method can be solved by solvable for y method. So you can try this. So when you solve it for y, what will happen? We know that when we solve it for y, we take the derivative with respect to x. So on the left hand side, we'll get dy by dx. So we'll put it equal to p. And on the right hand side, when we take the derivative with respect to x, we will get p plus x dp by dx, right? And then the next term is f of p. So the derivative will become f dash p into dp by dx. So you can see that p gets cancelled from both sides. And in the next two terms, we can take out dp by dx common. And we have x plus f dash p. So from here, we can easily say that dp by dx is equal to 0. So dp becomes equal to 0. So when you integrate it, we'll get simply p is equal to constant. So this is what is the solution of the Claret's equation. So if the equation is Claret's, if it is expressed in this form, y is equal to px plus f of p, your job becomes very easy. You have to only substitute the variable p equal to some constant c. So your solution will become y is equal to cx plus f of p. So that becomes your solution, right? So this is the easiest of all the methods that we have discussed so far. So let us try to understand this exercise. We need to solve the following differential equation and you can see that you are given y is equal to p of x plus a by p. So is it expressed in the form of the standard equation y is equal to px plus f of p? So you can see that y is equal to p of x. f of p a is a constant. So this is some function of p. So this you will simply say that this is Claret's equation. So if this is Claret's equation, then what is the solution of the Claret's equation? The solution of the Claret's equation is simply put p is equal to some constant c. So your solution becomes y is equal to c of x plus a by c. So this is your solution. Right? Simple. So let's try to understand one more question. So we have p is equal to log px minus y. So the standard Claret's equation is y is equal to p of x plus f of p. So can we convert the given differential equation in the standard form? So take exponential on both sides. So we will get e raised to power p is equal to px minus y. So bring y on the left side and bring e to the power p on the right hand side. So we will get y is equal to px minus e raised to power p. So now is it in the form of the Claret's equation? Yes. So now this is Claret's equation. So if it is Claret's equation, then what is the solution? The solution is simply put p is equal to constant. So when you put p equal to constant, your solution comes out to be y is equal to c of x minus e raised to power c. So that becomes your answer. Right? So I hope you have understood this method. So do try these problems and do let me know in the comment section whether you are able to solve these questions or not, right? So if you have any doubts, just put the question number there and I'll answer it, right? So thank you so much for listening to me. And if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video and believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you so much.